Okay, hey everyone, and a welcome in or a welcome back. It's a monkey mar. Before we get into today's video, please make sure you click the like, the subscribe, and the bell for notifications. Hey guys, a welcome in. I want to touch on these comments in my last Afana Frey video. Actually, I have not even checked my mail to see if her father got back to me yet. So, um, I know I say that a lot, right? So, um, okay. <laughs> um, Tiffany Rosenbrock, 21 hours ago. Please cover Michael Bryson's story. He disappeared from a camp out in Oregon around the same time as Fauna. You're doing great work. Thank you. And Tiffany, I am going to do a video on him right now. Let's see who he is, what he's about, where he's from, see what I can find, if any family members out there of Michael uh, Bryson's wants to get a hold of me, go ahead and shoot me an email. Uh, my email is in every video in the description. Sandy's a serious thank you monkey. There could be a serial killer in that area. There could be something. I want to know who the hitchhiker was. I really hope that Fauna's father gets back to me. Colleen Francoy, the family of Fauna should get a hold of AWP to search the lakes and ponds rivers for her. I love that show. I actually just started watching them a couple of months ago, a recommendation from a friend. That is a good idea. I actually tagged Chris Madonna in this story because I know that he was talking about going up to that area, I think he said Utah, where he was training a team to look for missing people or something, and I could have sworn that's what he was talking about. I would love for him to touch on this story. Alora Redu, I'm surprised that you don't have more subscribers. Your content is clear and understandable and always good. I think there must be some kind of mistake on your numbers. And nope, Allure, I think it's going steady. But I like my little group that I have in my comments, and I'm really loving my channel. I'm not looking for conspiracy theories, and to have a one-case big bang, I want to have and meet some good people. I've actually started a Facebook group. I'm still working on it to where anyone from around the world can post in there regarding missing friends, missing loved ones. I don't care how old it is, how new it is. I just want everyone to have a chance to spread awareness around the globe. All right, guys. So, Jenna Lay. Thanks, Monkey. Thanks, Jenna Lay. I saw you the other day, I think, out in Chasing Truths. I just love her. And everything going on with Summer Wells, guys, I know that I have not touched on it. I have been making notes in my little journal about a few things that I do want to touch on. I've been sitting back and listening to all the interviews and everything going on. And I'm still stumped. I want to wait until Equisearch says what they're going to say when their search is over. And then I want to see where it goes from there. But I'm not going to jump on this crazy bandwagon and these crazy conspiracy theories and creators changing their mind every day about what's going on and I can't be a part of it guys I'm sorry so with that let's get into the disappearance of Michael Bryson and who he is so <clears throat> I am gonna start at the beginning but before I start at the beginning of when Michael Bryson went missing I was looking through the Facebook page, Let's Find Michael Bryson. I am going to attach the link down below in the description. Let me put it on my little notes. First, let's start with this post from Michael's father, Parrish Bryson. Very touching. This was posted July 23rd, 2021. It is now July 25th, 2021, 12.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Let's see when I can get this video out. Throughout this journey or nightmare, we have met a lot of people, ones who aren't physically able to be here or go out, but are by our sides through prayer. Ones who have been very active in searches spending countless hours of their time looking for our boy. 
others who have had the courage to reach out and provide tips. One thing I personally have learned, never judge a book by its cover. You never know what that person is battling or what they have been through. We have had tips and help from individuals that others might not take serious or may just not want to be associated with. I'm here to tell you, I don't care where the help comes from, I will rub shoulders with anyone willing to reach out and help us. The scripture below was a reminder of just that. Not that I'm calling anyone an enemy, but look at it as a stranger. I'm meeting people from all walks of life, dropping my prejudices and looking for the good first. Amen to that, Parish Bryson. But love your enemies, do good to them, and lend to them without expecting to get anything back. Then your reward will be great, and you will be children of the Most High, because he is kind to the ungrateful and wicked. Luke 6, 3, 5. I just found that very touching. It actually wanted to make me give a little cry, but I'm going to stay together for this video. I am going to go through a couple of articles, and then we are going to go take a ride to the area and see where he went missing. I want to touch on how close it is from Fauna Frey, and also Jeremy Luke Martin. He is actually missing from that same area, I'm pretty sure where Michael, Fauna, and Jeremy Luke Martin. We'll check into that as well. If you guys have not seen the community post over here on my page, and this is where I posted it, like three posts down. So, let's jump into the first part of when he went missing, Michael Bryson. The second article was posted a year ago because he is going on being missing for almost one year. So my friend Michael Bryson has been missing for five days. Please, please help us. Anyone who has seen Bryson or knows of his whereabouts, contact the Lane County Sheriff's Office. I'll post that number below. Contact the Lane County Sheriff's Office at 541-682-4150. Press 1. I will go ahead and post this down below. Let me add it to my notes. Let me, oops, let me get in the Lane County. I know, guys, I'm sorry. I just don't want to forget to put the links in below because I say a lot of times, I'm going to post a link and I never do because a squirrel runs by. Oh, keeps opening up his poster and then if you have the information so we'll get into what he white male six feet 180 pounds blue eyes brown hair last seen at the hobo camp grounds row river road cottage grove area past arena oregon august 5th at 4 a.m 10 days away from him being gone a year he was wearing a white t-shirt black shorts and <laughs> rainbow crocs Descriptive features, nose ring, which I can see it right here. Facial hair and geometric tattoos. Heart tattoo with hands on rib cage. Geometric bear on back of arm. Geometric lion on shin. Geometric elephant on shin. I have pictures of those tattoos actually, and I will post them right now. So let's get into the next article on Michael. <laughs> Yeah, that's my rooster. He's right outside my window trying to get part of this um, video. He wants to be famous. So, this is crime... Excuse me, go away. Okay, this is crimewatchers.net. Missing person poster, same one. This article was out August 11th, 2020. Darina, Oregon. Search efforts. Alright guys, hang on one second. I'm going to go have um, some chicken parmesan for dinner obviously if he's not going to shut his little mouth let's see if he's done <laughs> I know guys I'm a little crazy I know hang on one second <laughs> so Darina Oregon search efforts have grown to find 27 year old Michael Bryson who went missing early Wednesday morning 
Bryson was camping at the Hobo Campground with friends last week when he wandered away from the site Wednesday morning, and that was the last time he was seen. So he just wandered away at 4 a.m. in the morning. The search is not isolated to just the campground and surrounding areas. Friends have deployed into cities all over Western Oregon looking for any leads that could point them to where he might be. His family said that the longest they've ever gone without hearing from him is two days. It's very rare that five days and he would not have reached out to mom, dad, or his sister or uncle. The effort to find Bryson has grown beyond just those who knew him. A Facebook group with more than 2,000 members is dedicated to finding the young man. The man's dad said Bryson doesn't know a stranger. He said his son was kind and friendly to everyone he met. He said he hopes that the energy that brings him home. A $10,000 reward is available for any information leading to the discovery, all which was donated to fuel efforts to find him. So he wandered away from the campground at 4 o'clock in the morning. That's a little strange. This was published on September 16th, 2020. Parents fear the worst six weeks after son Michael Bryson vanished from Oregon campground. And then here the only difference that we have not heard is he reportedly wandered away from a group of friends who were partying at the campground and has not been seen since. His camping gear was left behind and he hasn't accessed his bank account. The Lane County Sheriff's Office in Oregon is investigating. Six weeks has passed since Parrish and Tina Bryson's son went missing from a campground in Oregon, and they fear something terrible has happened to him. He did not just disappear into thin air, Michael's father told Dateline. We need to ha bring Michael home. Whatever the outcome is, a grieving family needs closure, and people will rally around them to help get that closure. So then we'll get a little more into some details from the family. He was last seen by his parents August 3rd, 2020. They told Dateline that Michael stopped by their house in Harrisburg, Oregon. He told them he was riding up with a friend to a week-long birthday party, camping trip at Hobo Camp Campground near Dorena, Oregon. We know he was up there Monday and Tuesday and that the DJ at this party that was actually a rave invited him up on stage to do a set. Parrish Bryson told Dateline, but the next morning he was gone. According to Detective Richard Smith with the Lane County Sheriff's Office, it was 4.30 a.m. on Wednesday when Michael reportedly wandered away from a group of friends at the campground in an unknown direction. He added that Michael had left his camping gear behind, his phone was powered off, and he hasn't accessed his account since. Michael's parents told Dateline they weren't alerted to their son's disappearance until 5 p.m. that day. They immediately drove to the area where Lane County Sheriff's Office Search and Rescue had already deployed search teams to search by land and by water. For days, hundreds of volunteers showed up to scour miles of heavily wooded wilderness in the area. They searched on foot, on horseback, and with drones, but there was no trace of Michael. Parrish Bryson told Dateline they never got a straight answer from the partygoers about Michael and added that he believes they know more than they are letting on. The stories given by some of the people at the party are inconsistent, Parrish said, and most of those people left the day Michael went missing and continued to hold raves and parties. He added that while many people left the campgrounds, there were a few friends and several strangers who dedicated their time and energy to the search. We stayed at the campgrounds for 19 days looking for our son, Paris said, and we are truly grateful for those who stayed and helped. Mm, I can't even imagine. On the second day of Michael's disappearance, a few of his friends from home, his parents to offer 5,000 toward the reward when Michael's father mentioned this to the family friend, the friend responded, If kids can do it, I can do it. That's how we have a $10,000 reward to offer for information, Paris said. And that explains the heart of Michael. Michael both, Michael's parents both described their son. 
the same way. Because then he has a big heart, and it's always for other people, Paris said. He told Dateline that Michael had previously traveled twice to Africa on mission trips and came back with an urge to move there and continue to help others. To remember his time there, he got a tattoo of shaken hands with the words, Stay strong, my brother. Paris said his son had just been getting his life back together after hitting a rough spot with drugs before the COVID-19 pandemic hit. Michael had been working at a local bar and grill. He told his parents he was interested in studying to become an electrician. But for years, his passion was music. He was often invited to DJ sets at parties and raves across the, st across the state, including where he was last seen at Hobo Camp Campground. That's the hard part. We were really seeing a passionate change, and now this parish said, and he would never just leave. Even in his toughest times, he would always contact us. The idea that he would just disappear is unheard of. Mm, very sad. Michael's family and friends turned to social media to help spread the word of his disappearance with the hashtags and then the Facebook group, which I'm going to attach that link below. Here are his tattoos. And then down here he says, We hope that someone will have the courage to come forward, Paris said. It's time to bring Michael home, and I'm not going to keep repeating myself. I'll go ahead and blow those tattoos up right here. That's sad that he just disappeared. Let's have a look at where this is going down in Oregon. I am going to do a part two to this Oregon because I'm not even going to go there now because I crawled down a little rabbit hole. I almost got stuck, but I popped out. So we've got his name is Jeremy Luke Martin. So we've got Jeremy Luke Martin. They said that he was leaving Dexter, which is right here, and he was driving to Medford. This is where Michael Bryson went missing, the hobo campground. Fauna Frey, her car, was found on an old mining road off of Mount Reuben Road, and it was a couple miles north of this boat ramp so I mean I can't speculate if this road is still see it changed the name of the road changed so it's Mountain Reuben Road here Mountain Reuben Road and then here it changes oh no nope, Mountain Reuben Road Glendale Mountain Reuben Road so Jeremy left Dexter, never made it to Medford. Michael went to the party at Hobo Campground. He was never seen again. Fauna Frey was in the Grant Pass area. She was going to drop some clothes off of her brothers to his friend. Checked into a few hotels. Well, she never made it to the second hotel. But her car was found in Mount Reuben Road. And what is this? Highway 5, and I will definitely do a part 2. I'm going to reach out to his family and his sister on Facebook and see if I can have a conversation with them. Alright guys, drop them comments, drop them opinions, and with that, it is a wrap. I want to thank you all for coming in. Thank you for watching. Please like or dislike whichever you prefer, and subscribe. Everyone have a good day or a good night wherever you are in the world and stay vigilant. I am out.